Hey, what's up you guys? It's Izzy and today I'm back with a new video and I know it's been forever since I filmed and I promised I wasn't going to do this but I did so I've decided to just try and post videos whenever I can. I mean school has been getting so busy lately and yeah I'm really sorry. So I thought today would be a fun video to film because I have both of the products and if you didn't know by the title I'm going to be trying two different makeup erasers. It's the um, the uh, makeup eraser wipe. It's the removes your makeup, you just add water, and yeah. I'm going to be trying the original one and the All May ones, and I've already opened the package, but it comes with three of them, and there's actually a, gi a giant, uh, quite a big price difference for each, so we're going to test them out and see if it would be cheaper and better to go with the you know, cheaper. It's obviously going to be cheaper to go with these, but it would be worth it and better and, you know, might as well just go with the dupe for the original makeup eraser. So the original makeup eraser is $20, at least where I live it is, yeah, it's $20 and you, and it's, here, it contains one cloth and it's makeup eraser reusable for up to a thousand raw washes and it's actually it's really soft that I know of it's like it's like it's really soft and so I'm going to be using this on one half of my face and these on the other half and this is actually a not a fresh face of makeup this is a make face of makeup that I've had all day the only thing that's new is the lipstick because I wanted to see how well it would get the lipstick off so like I said this one is $20 and it is very soft and it's only one these are where I was looking on the website where I would have got them. They were $3, I believe, for all three of these. And I got these at Walmart. You can get both of these at Walmart. But this one's $20 and this one is $3. And this, there's, three, there's three, three of them. So we're going to see if it is worth the duplicate price or you should just go the whole shebang and spend $20 for one. So I'm going to go wet these down and I will be right back. So I wetted them down and out of the three I chose one that you could nowhere near mistake as the same. So in doing that, I just switched sides. Um, this one, the All May one, the, this one feels more like a rag, like that you would like, like dry your hands with, than any sort of cloth that I'd want to put on my face in order to get this stuff off. And then uh, the the original makeup eraser, uh, it feels soft and like, it, w it feels like I'd want to put it on my face. And there's another thing. This is more, if the original makeup eraser feels more water resistant. Like whenever it would, the water would go on, it would bounce off. It wouldn't absorb. So like it had some sort of like shield type thing. And this just soaked up all the water, which was which is a nice feature, I believe. I wish the other one would have. Because I had to I put this underneath there, one fail swoop on it, and it was done. And as for this, I had to keep it under there for forever. It seemed like. Okay, so this side right here I'm going to do with the original makeup eraser, and we're just going to see. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to test this, but just like by the softness of having to push and stuff. So yeah, alright, trying to get exactly even line so I don't go into the other side of my face, so it's probably not going to be... It's wet, so hopefully it's going to work better. Alright, that's So? So? I think it worked and it wasn't rough on my skin just because it's so soft I don't think it would be rough and it got all the makeup off like ew it's kind of gross but it's actually kind of cool like but so it got all the makeup off and it was nice and like I don't know if it was as thorough as maybe like washing your face or like a makeup wipe would be but again, it's water and a cloth, 
So for that, I, I do say it's good. And I will compare the two at the end. Now time for the all make one on the other side of my face. So I think we're done. Here is the final look of my bare face with all the makeup taken off. I with the makeup, uh, original makeup eraser, and this one was the All May. And so the All May got it off, like it got a lot of it, all of it off, I think. So I think. Uh, a little more residue of my eyeliner than the other one but you know with the price difference I guess I should expect that a little more so <clears throat> like compare and contrast for the makeup the original makeup eraser this one is softer it is way smoother on the skin like it, it's way it's it's way um, it's way smoother, it's way nicer, it feels like like a like a blanket rather than a towel. And that's a pro, that's a good thing about the makeup. A con about the makeup eraser is the fact that it, it and so for the all may a uh, con of it is it feels like a dish towel on your face. It you, you've gotta go very forcefully and it kinda hurts just to try and get everything off. But a pro is it does get everything off. It gets all the stuff I need off and it only left a, some residue on there. It didn't leave anywhere near as much as what is expected, especially for a $3 product. Oh, both of these products I don't think would do as well. I don't think it'd be a complete substitute for washing my face at night, but I think it would be a good starting step as to getting all my makeup off. So, the ultimate question, should you just go with the dupe or should you just go, or should you splurge and go all the way with this baby? I believe, just go with the dupe. It's not worth it. There's nothing spectacular about this other than the fact that it does feel like a nice little blanket on your face. There's nothing special about it. It does the exact same thing and it doesn't even do it head over heels like very very super well to something if it was something that I wholeheartedly felt was necessary I would I would say go with the more expensive product but I love cheap products because I am broke so go with the dupe this is a sufficient dupe so yeah so I hope you liked this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up because I make new videos not very often, but they do come once in a while, and I hope this was informative. I hope this informed you because I feel like I would watch something like this and would get a lot out of it because I love to know all the cheap dupes out there. So yeah, and I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>